Yo everybody, what's going on? Forgive my attire, I woke up and was literally on the way to the gym, and when I checked my watch, I realized, oh It's December 22nd, and registration with the FAA for drones started yesterday. I wanted to be on my game and have it done by today, but I guess time got away from me. Now I'm gonna read directly from FAA's website a little more information about this whole policy. A press release by the Federal Aviation Administration listed that registration begins on December 21st, 2015, and the first 30 days are free. The U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Aviation Administration announced a streamlined and user-friendly web-based aircraft registration process for owners of small, unmanned aircraft, or UAS, weighing more than half a pound and less than 55 pounds, including payloads such as onboard cameras. Registration is a statutory requirement that applies to all aircraft. Under this rule, any owner of a small UAS who has previously operated an unmanned aircraft exclusively as a model aircraft prior to December 21st, 2015 must register no later than February 19th, 2016. Owners of any other UAS purchase for use as a model aircraft after December 21st, 2015 must register before the first flight outdoors. Owners may register through a web-based system found at www.faa.gov forward slash UAS forward slash registration. And I'll link that in the description below. Registrants will need to provide their name, home address, and email address. Upon completion of the registration process, the web application will generate a certificate of aircraft registration and or proof of ownership that will include a unique identification number for the UAS owner, which will be marked on the aircraft. The normal registration fee is $5, but in an effort to encourage as many people as possible to register quickly, the FAA is waiving the fee for the first 30 days. Now, obviously this is only gonna to apply to citizens of the United States, but I'm sure other countries will quickly jump on board once they see this sort of stuff. I actually saw a really interesting video on Facebook the other day where the Japanese are using drones with large nets, about nine feet wide, to capture other drones. Once you're at the UA UAS page here, you scroll all the way down and it says, register now. Here's the, welcome to the unmanned aircraft. Okay, register my drone. There we go, almost done. We just sent you a verification email. Click the link below to activate your account. Retrieving files, so now I have to input all my information here, input my address, my phone number, uh, if you have an ultimate email, email address. Uh, with the registration, the step one of four here, it says safety guidelines. So I acknowledge that I will fly below 400 feet, fly within visual line of sight, be aware of FAA airspace requirements, will not fly directly over people, will not fly over stadiums and sports events, will not fly near an emergency response, such as fires, will not fly near aircraft, especially near airports, and I will not fly under the influence. It says if you register by January 21st, we will automatically rebate the $5 registration fee, so your registration will be free. You must mark any and all aircraft with your number before you operate them. The number must be visible without using tools. You may mark it inside the battery compartment if that is accessible. You may use any method to affix the number that ensures it remains visible, including permanent marker, label, or engraving. To operate as a hobbyist, you must operate according to the safety guidelines you have acknowledged and in accordance with a community-based set of safety guidance. For further information, on safety guidance, visit FAA.gov. All right, so there you guys have it. I did just register my drone. Um, a lot of people have been kind of upset about the FAA regulations. At this point, I'm kind of indifferent. I can definitely understand that they want to hold people accountable for the people that keep up for us. There's always people that it up. It's like that with guns, with motorcycles, with anything, any hobby that you have that, especially when it's new, people are gonna do things that make people in legislation and in government kind of question it and go, hey, we've gotta get a handle on this. So Let me know in the description below if you guys had any difficulties um, with your registration and how you guys are fixing it. I think I'm just gonna do like a label, um, like a P-touch, because I don't really want it to look messy and um, be like Casey Neistat, he just engraves everything, but that's cool and hip for him. So I, I wanna keep my clean, fresh look. So I look forward to seeing what all you guys put out there and uh, hopefully we can get together and fly sometime. I hope, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to follow and subscribe and I'll see you guys around. Take it easy, peace.